be perfectly honest, uh, I was completely unconscious the entire time I was in the hospital. Uh, I woke up in the ICU about five weeks ago um, on a trach, unable to speak, unable to really move much. Uh, so it was a little disconcerting when you wake up like that. But I uh, got excellent care. My wife could tell you the experience far better than I can. Yeah, the memories that he has of like waking up in, at the ICU are pretty foggy. I feel like his memory kind of clears more once he got to Mary Freebed. Um, but he, you know, spent um, five weeks on a vent and took um, maybe 10 days to become alert after um, getting off sedation. And then about an additional week after that um, in the ICU um, before he came to Mary Free Bed. So it's been quite a, quite a journey. I'm thrilled to be home. It's the first time I've seen my kids in three months. In person. Um, yeah, in person not FaceTiming, um, just grateful, um, excited, uh, nervous, uh, in a new adventure. Um, they prepared me pretty well, uh, I feel strong. Um, I couldn't sit up when I got to Mary Free Bed now. As you can see, I can stand on my own and walk, uh, which has been a blessing um, after being in the hospital for so long. So I think that the two main things is anybody can get this and we don't know uh, who's going to have a small cold for two or three days or be asymptomatic versus those like myself that end up in the ICU and ventilated. There's no rhyme or reason for that. So, you know, paying attention, wearing your mask, social distancing, staying away from large crowds as, you know, the medical professionals have educated us on. I was doing all those things. I, I, there was no risk taking on my end. We didn't have big parties. This wasn't a big Halloween party that I, I got involved in it was just a random thing that occurs and so doing everything you can not to get the virus and taking it seriously it's been kind of a you know up and down journey like i feel like you know when he was so critical um in the icu it was a, it was a different experience from rehab because we just weren't sure what the outcome was going to be so once he um left ICU and came to near three bed. I think it's just been ecstatic that he's, you know, alive and able to like make all these gains and he's worked really hard in rehab and it's just been such a blessing. So it's hard not to just be like filled <laughs> with like every new movement and I mean just so overwhelmed with joy.